Okay, in the following example, we have uh, example 6.17, which is on page 263. And as we're doing this, the problem reads, a gas expands and does pressure volume work on surroundings equal to 325 joules. At the same time, it absorbs 127 joules of heat from the surroundings. Calculate the change in energy of the gas. So the equation that we're gonna use is, uh, so the equation, again, all the equations that are gonna be necessary for the test are gonna be on page 261 where it says key equations. The equation that we're gonna use is the change in internal energy is equal to uh, heat plus work. In doing so, now we have to uh, pretty much um, understand what the problem is telling us. So the first thing that we're gonna denote, uh, we're gonna denote it in green, we're gonna say Q. And it says, and remember that Q is equal to heat, okay? If they say, uh, in this case, they say that uh, it absorbs 127 joules of heat from the surroundings. So that means for, in this case, uh, we're gonna absorb 127 joules of heat from the surroundings. Now, if you remember table 6.1 on page 236, it says that if heat is absorbed by the system, then our, our heat is gonna be endothermic, which means a positive value of energy, okay? So in this case, we're gonna have 127 joules of heat, and it'll be positive because you're absorbing uh, this endothermic. Secondly, we're gonna, we're gonna look at the work, okay? According to the problem, it's telling us that a gas is going to expand and it does PV work on the surroundings to equal 325 joules. So this time, we're going to say, well, work, work is, as the gas expands, the work is done uh, on the surroundings, okay? So the work is going to be done by the system and then on the surroundings. How so? Because the gas is expanding. So therefore, again on table 6.1, if work is, uh, if the gas is expanding, that means it's going up this way on the piston, that means it's doing work against the system. I'm sorry, the work against the surroundings. So therefore, your sign is going to be negative. So this, uh, in this case, it's telling us that uh, the work is going to be 325 joules, but because it's doing it on the surroundings and by the system, it's going to be negative. So now all we have to do is plug in to determine our delta U. Our delta U is equal to the Q, which is gonna be denoted in green. It's gonna stay positive, 127 joules. And we're gonna add the work. But here, if you notice, the work is gonna be negative. So we're gonna subtract 325 joules. As we do so, and we do our subtraction, we're gonna end up with our answer, which is change in energy, change in internal energy, which is gonna be negative 198 joules. So I guess, didn't mean to confuse you right there. Joules, joules, joules.